Hi everyone, we're live on YouTube now. Welcome to the third series of Word Mile, part one, because we're going to have part two on Sunday, carrying the same theme, which is Mind Education, the Language Chef. I'm Deborah Chatrin, and I'll be hosting this show. It's bright and sunny here in my place. It's another lovely day to be grateful. Anyway, today is Thursday, and it's almost weekend. I hope you all have a great day today. Let's cherish every moment in our lives because we never know what lies ahead of us. In any case, if you're spending your Thursday by watching our show, please use the chat box in our YouTube channel and tell us where you're from and leave us positive comments about the show. We truly appreciate that. So what is Word Miles anyway? In case this is your first time tuning into this show or tuning into this channel, Word Miles is actually a program that I created to provide an outlet to gather many young people, college students who have passion for English learning. It is sort of a relaxed and fun program where the contributors or the speakers in every show will share about their academic experience academic journey, their ups and downs in enhancing English skills. And also, not just that, they're going to share their academic masterpieces. So without further ado, let's invite all the panelists in. Hi, everyone. I have Marisa here. I'm so thrilled to have you, okay? Okay. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? I think our viewers need to know you more. Let's start Hi, everyone. My name is Marisa Daniel Manulang. You can call me L so we can feel close. I'm from English Education. Uh, and right now, I stay in Unai. So someday, if you want to come to Unai, please let me know so I can show you around. Because Unai is so beautiful, you know. I have several hobbies. I like painting, reading comics and novel, listening to music. By the way, lately, I like to listen to indie and lo-fi songs. Anyways, here in Unai, the weather is so bright today. And I think it's a beautiful day to have a conversation with all of you guys. Hope you're doing well and please enjoy the talk show. Hello, everyone. How is your day? Okay, I want to introduce myself. I'm Emily Claudia Muntu. I come from North Sumatra. My hobbies are singing and swimming. Mm, oh yes, you know, I'm a fan of BTS, so I'm an ARMY. And the idol I fan of BTS is Min Yoongi. If you want to know more about me, you can contact me after we finish the show. I hope you all are doing well and nice meeting you. Okay, it is my time to introduce yourself because that is saying that you don't know, you don't love. Maybe you are surprised that I have short hair, uh, even though in the poster it is long hair. The reason is because I want to be different from before. Hello everyone, my name is Prachika Nalusegar. You can call me Chika or Ika. I'm 18 years old. I was born in North Sumatra, but now I live in Bandung. My major is English education, my hobby reading. If you want to know me more, you can follow my Instagram, chick underscore A92210. Use with lowercase and I will follow your bet. I hope your viewers enjoy our show. Hi viewers, my name is Debra Sembiring. Yeah, it's pretty same like my Debra's name, but usually my friends call me Debbie. I'm 18 and student of University Adventist University of Indonesia, Bandung. I live in Karo, fresh and beautiful place. I really like smell of the earth and plants after the rain with some cup of milk and hear healing song. Are there also viewers like me? If yes, Please use some comments in comment box. It's all about me. Enjoy our show. 
Hello everyone who are watching this live stream. I'm Ripka. I live in Bandung. Have you ever visited Bandung before? If you haven't, then you should try to come someday because you will not regret it. If you know where Una is, my house is just five feet apart from it. Yeah, very close. Besides from where I live, I also want to tell you about things I like the most. Maybe we have a, fa a same favorite thing and it can make us more connected. Um, first, I love watching film, especially the science fiction one, because it just amazed me. I love to listen to Ariana Grande songs, reading, reading riddles and out of the box stories. So if you want to hear some, I can tell you all of my favorite riddles. It's so fun to solve riddles. I also love to draw in animation sometimes like chibi and anime. And last, I love martabak manis. Well, I think that's enough. Thank you all. So hi, everybody. My name is Elizabeth from English Education, first year. I'm coming from Rio and now I'm stayed in Bandung. I'm 90 years old. And I want to tell you about my hobby. So my hobby is drawing, but for your information, I'm not really good at it. And I also fan girl of Korean boy group, you know, talented and handsome guy, fresh in my eyes, be my healing and my motivation. And I also like to watch anime and my favorite genre is thriller and action. So I think that's all I can tell to you guys. So stay until the end and I hope you guys enjoy our life. Wow, I'm so happy that I'm surrounded with young people here. Young, energetic young people here. Okay, we have Marisa, we have Winda, we have Elizabeth, we have Emily, we have Chica, we have Deborah, we have Ripka. Thank you so much for being with us in this third series of Word Miles. Once again, thank you for accepting our invitation to be part of this show. All right. The topic we choose for this second series is Mind Education, the Language Chef. You know, we have to instill in our minds that we are the chef of our language and we have the ability to create something from the language that we learned. So I hope our viewers, I hope you enjoy this program and please keep watching this show until the end. So now let's start. Let's dive into the topic. To all the speakers, young people here, I would like to ask you questions. I would like us to have fun discussion here. First question for you. I would like each one of you to contribute answers. What is unique about learning English? Do you think English language is beautiful and exciting to learn? What's your take on this? Could you please unmute, Marisa? I think you forgot to... Turn on your microphone, okay. Of course, one of the reasons you may be learning English is because it's considered a global language. English is spoken all over the world as a first and second language. Did you know that English is spoken in around 70 different countries? There's a reason why English is one of the most common second languages. That is because it is one of the most commonly used languages across the internet. Maybe in Indonesia, English is not second language, but a foreign language. But it is possible that we often find it in our daily life, right? Billions of people around the world speak English, and you can too. There are so many benefits of learning, of learning English. One of them is that learning English can connect you to the global network of English speakers across the world. We can also learn from various sources sound the word. English is a unique language because English can increase your chances of getting a job. Make it easier for those of you who like to travel around the world. And you should know, that English is the language of the media industry. When you're looking for a movie, a favorite song, a TV show, and the book you want, you don't have to bother with translating and using subtitles anymore. Very easy, isn't it? If you have mastered English, you can definitely talk to the foreigners easily. So remember that English is an international language. 
for me, the unique learning English is that the way to read and write English word is very different. And for the fun learning, while learning, I learn from video on YouTube, from social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then I always listen to English songs, listen to people communicate in English, and many more. In my opinion, learning is also truly beautiful because we can see and understand different dimensions when we learn English and we can go anywhere on vacation to other countries. Well, I think English is very unique because English is the lesson which gives many things such as the grammar, the various pronunciation that can be learned, and the accent too. Besides that, English is also international language. So when we know English, of course, there is also a lot of knowledge that is also a lot of knowledge that we can get. We can easily go anywhere around the world. Okay, do I think learning English is beautiful and exciting? Yes, absolutely, yes. Why? If I, if you I ask me why I love English, it's all start from my hobbies. My hobbies are watching movies and listening to music, especially Western one. I realized that English isn't that hard if we already know and understand it well. It's really fun and full of pleasure. Because of my hobbies, I know many accents like British, American, and Aussie, even though I can't imitate it yet, but I still learn how to make it. And what about uniqueness in English learning? In my point of view, English is a language that people haven't realized its importance. Yes, English is so important. Even I think people in Indonesia at least should understand English and use it as the third language in daily life after local language. It's unique because many people underestimate the importance of English. They don't know how important it is. You can see by randomly speak in English when you have a convo with someone. Some people would say, why do you speak in English? Do you want to seem cool with that? We are Indonesian, man. We are supposed to speak in our language. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have ever heard that before. It shows that Indonesian people lack of education about how important English is. And the effect, people who want to learn English is hampered and feel hesitate to speak in public. So my answer is yes. Because, you know, guys, Learn English is such a beautiful thing because we know English is not our national language. So we can upgrade our skill with learn something new just like learn English. And learn English is also exciting just like I say before, English is not our national language. So when we know the, when we understand English, we can speak freely when we go to another country and we don't really need to learn specific language because we can just use English because English is international language. All right, I really enjoy listening to your answers. Well, apparently you all have the eyes of seeing the uniqueness of English. In any manner, English is not simply a language. It is a lifestyle. It becomes our lifestyle. Anyway, human language is unique because it's a symbolic communication system that is learned. So I really enjoy listening to your answers because it seems that you are really passionate for learning this language. Now, I have a next question. Which country that you would like to visit so that you can improve your English skills? You can freely and fluently use the language. Okay, of the many countries in the world, I choose America to visit. Besides, I have many family to visit there. The country is so beautiful. Since I was little, when I heard the word America or United States of America, 
What I imagine was a big developed country, very cool, very modern, and very majestic. I think every corner of the America country will look so aesthetic, and I really, really want to go to there. Okay, so sometimes I I have a dream that I can go to Disney. Why? Because it is one of my favorite cartoon and it looks like it would be really fun if I could go there. Disney brings people from all walks of life together at the parks and it's like tell us that we can forget about the real world, even if it's only for a day. The park seems to tell us, don't worry about what's going on in your life right now. Think about this moment and savor it. You're safe here. It's like living in a dream, living in a fantasy world. There are fireworks, familiar music, and amazing lights. It can feel like we're getting a huge uh, hug, I'm sorry, a hug from an old friend. And for just a little while, we can be fully present and happy in that very moment. I really hope someday I can go there. I would like to go to the UK, United Kingdom, or Britain, because I like their accent when they talk. Their accent is different. For example, in the USA, they say water, and in the UK, they say water. And do you know the Harry Potter films? I admire one of the female characters in the film named Harmony Ranger, whose real name is Emma Watson. When I watched Harmony's acting, she had a nice and clear accent. I love the accent of the female, female. Uh, because when she plays the character, she is very prominent and stylish when she speaks like a British accent. And that makes me want to learn more about the, this British language. Although it's hard to speak, I will try to do better. Interesting question, ma'am. Uh, I choose country Philippines when country uses English as their second language to communicate. Mm. I, I've been dreaming of it since. I was in I was in junior high school. I don't know how I don't know. Sorry, I don't know why I like that country so much. Um, maybe because I watched the drama from Philippines. Even now, still, even now, I still remember the title. The title. Maybe if you want to watch it, it is on YouTube. You can search. The title is Pangako Sayo and On the Wings of Love. But I prefer the second title because this drama tells the story of a couple from a different country, a boy from Australia and a girl from the Philippines. And one day I, I hope I can match with parents too. I like Australia because it started when I hear Rose from Blackpink uh, speak in English. When I hear she speak English, I fall in love with her accent. It's so addictive. And after that, I just started to Googling about Australian. I Googling about food, culture about Australia. And then I found comics on Webtoon. The, the title is Sydney, I'm in Love. Have you read these comics too? It's really fun. And I hope someday I can go there and uh, improve my skill. Okay, since I was a kid, I really want to visit UK, our United Kingdom. Harry Potter makes me want to learn British more, but until now, I still can't imitate it well. Their accent sounds really satisfying, even though some American consider it to be funny. But beside that, UK is also beautiful. There's many 
aesthetic place that we can visit to, like British Museum, the oldest museum in the world, which has 6 million collection, Big Ben, London Eye, the second biggest big whale in the world, Natural History Museum, which has about 70 million of specimen, Buckingham Palace, or the Place Queen of United Kingdom's Day, Tower of London, Portobello Road Market, and many more. You should try to search UK in Google. It's so beautiful. Imagine if you can walk and talk with UK people with British accent. It just looks so cool for me. I hope I can make a British accent someday and go around the England. So I think I want to go to Australia. As I say, I was a fan of Korean boy group named and hyphen, which one of the member is from Australia named Jake. And Australia is also a unique country because there's a lot of interesting animals like kangaroo, big spider, koala, wombat, and I like the accent too. I also want to go to Seattle, Washington, United States of America because Jay and Hyphen is from there. And we all know the national language in America is English. So I can use English freely and I don't have to worry about people not understand what I'm saying. Okay, uh, well, if you want to take part in international circle, I think you have to learn English. We all have to learn English if we want to take international part, take part in the international circle. So thank you. I hope your dream of visiting the country can come true. Now, I heard that you've been writing children's stories. Now, would you like to show your masterpieces to our viewers here? And please tell us who inspired you or what inspired you to, re to write the stories. Okay, so I've been writing three books. Okay, please wait a minute. Yeah, this is three of my books. The first one, the title is Writing Grass. Oh yeah, by the way, credit pictures is credit to Canva. The first book is about a little girl, a little girl that learning how to write. He was curious after he saw his father writing, but even though he had imitated his father, he still couldn't write. Instead of a word, he just make a grace. So her father decided to send her to school. For your information, all of my stories is based on my childhood experience. Now we move we move to my second book. The title is Share My Meal. Okay, so the second book uh, tells about how we behave when we want to taste our friend's food and reminds us not to forget to pray before eating. And the last one is Transact with God. Maybe some of you are uh, so shocked with the, with the title because it's bring God. But this is my third book. And this, is, and this book tells us about a child. About a child that thinking that the offerings we collect in church are literally for God. So she thinks that in heaven there is an ATM so that we can do transaction with God. So we can send or transfer our money to God. What an innocent girl. Yeah, it's all about my book.
So, in this book, in the first book, surely you have, surely you are confused why the book is called Mushroom Hair. Wait for a minute. Okay, wait, still loading. Uh, um, so in the first book, I'll talk about my childhood experience. When I was a kid, I loved to play with my friends in the tree house. Then, I had a long hair when I was a kid, and it made me un uncomfortable playing. When I finished playing and went home, I explained to my mom about my hair, and my mom knew it. After that, my mother cut my hair without taking me to the barber shop and we can see my hair finally my hair is short like a mushroom hair and the second book is sweet food This book tells us about sweet food besides candy and chocolate. In this world, there are a variety of sweet foods. Um, and there is an important message for children who like to eat sweet over it. After that, we can read a short story about a small girl who likes to eat candy. Next in the story, she has a dental problem. And we can see the conclusion of the storybook of the second, of the second ebook, which can be applied or taught to the children. Let's go to the last book. Uh, the last book called Little Chef. It tells in the story it tells the story of a little girl who loves to cook. This little girl kept many receipts from her grandmother. She was the little chef in his family. Gio had been in a cooking competition when she uh, uh, when she was a kid and that certainly makes her happy. Joe's family liked Joe because of his cooking talent and called him a little chef. So, uh, these are the three books that I made during this semester. I hope, hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully can be used in the future. Yes, I have a written children's storybook. I have three books. All right, we'll take quick. Wait for a minute. All right, we'll take a quick look 
quick look the contents of the book and let her ex explain a bit about this book. We can see the title of the book, The Greatest Mom. I am writing this based on my own experience. Mother who always wake up is in the morning to cook breakfast for us and she always wake up for school and then she himself clean the house without getting bored or tired and the music I want Kenfi to readers to love your mother, even though she is often angry. It means she loves you. Remember, friends, everyone is under the feet of mothers. Okay, let's read the second book. Hmm. The title is Summer Holiday. Uh, content just like the first. This is also the story of my own experience as a child during school holidays and wanting to go to the beach. But when I arrive, but when we sorry, but when we arrive at the beach, it was hot, and we also saw many people also going to the beach. My brother and I, my brother and I built um, built a castle of the sand, and my father, who always work even only holidays and. Finally, my mother read a book while taking care of my little brother. We are happy to be, to be vacation at the beach and don't forget to the picture. It was a very pleasant experience and we'll never forget it. We turn to third book. This is book. Uh, the title is Kimi. Hoping and uh, this book is based on my own imagination, where I want to get children to always help people in need and not people, but we can also help animals if the animals is in pain. I created a character is Nikimi. Here she is um, only chill, but it's not pamper. She helps a grandmother who seeks in her luck. And she also, she, she also helps a palm bird. And I hope children who read books can be like kind Kimi. And I, I forgot. Uh, to, to the tell you this, uh, the picture, all the picture I took from Google. These are three books that I made. The first book is untitled the biggest Yahweh. the biggest shower this book contains about how children can play under the rain and also be careful when playing in the rain and also the purpose of this book is children can dare to explore nature freely and safely when it rains and I hope that children can have beautiful memories with rain. 
because you know when you grow up friend is no longer a happiness is a time where we cover our sadness and then next to the second book family in this pandemic many children have lost their parents and family and i also made this book so that children who lost their parents uh, do not feel alone they are still have people who love you still have friends in the class your teacher and family like your cousins your grandmother your grandfather and i hope with this book uh you can uh feel you have a uh, friend you're not lonely and then the third book is first day of school this book tells how excited a girl named jessica was with her first day of school meeting new friends and also a kind teacher who taught her many things and he can wait to come school day after day and i hope the children who read my book can like jessica she is excited to go to the school that's all about my books okay so i do write books children books the first with the title cat's life this one tells about how how a cat lives with his master this book consists of seven pages let me show you oh yeah i have to put credits on slides go uh, the, power, the PowerPoint templates web, website for this beautiful icons, illustration, and pictures. And also Google for preparing me the materials. These are the illustration. Okay. So this book, uh, back to the story, this book teach kids to take care for their pet well. Its master always take to the cat to bed, gives him meals, vaccine, and grooming. This book teach how to make the cat feel safe with you. Okay, I turn to the second books. We have the Ice Age Game Ride. The Ice Age Game Ride consists of 13 pages. Let me show you. These are the illustration. Okay, uh, this story is where the writer and her friends have a school trip. They are overexcited and when they hear there is a new ride at the amusement park called Ice Age, the writer and her friends without any further think, they go direct to the new ride with no further think, with no lunch, without knowing that the new ride is really booming and full of crowd. They have to queue for about four hours. And because of that, they fall sick and can't write more ride. Turn to the last story. We have the worst camping. The worst camping consists of eight pages. Let me show you. These are the illustration. Okay. The, the title is the worst camp ever, the worst camping. It was just fine. They built then, rolled the mat, and any kind of camp preparation until a crowd of angry people threw them out of the campsite. Yeah, it's a terrible ex experience and uh, for the writer. The purpose of the story is to share experience and expand their simple vocabulary. With the colorful illustration and simple story, I hope this book can help children to study English easier.
So this is my third book. This is the first one. This is the second, and this in the middle is the third. So first of all, all the picture I use is from Pinterest, so I give all the credit to Pinterest. Let's check the first book. All right, first, let me check page to page. This is a this is a very simple book. I just add some picture of animals, and let me tell to you guys why I did the title Celine because Celine mean, means moon. I mean, this book is I made into a book that you read before going to bed. So this book is about some animal realize that being friends doesn't have to be discriminatory. So the message that I want to tell to you guys is we have to live in being who cannot discriminate between God's creation. And let's move to the second book. Okay. The title is Verity. Also, just like the first book, let me check first. Okay. So the story is about Princess Prince Pure about her appearance. After that, she asks for her help to a magic tree and after that she made a frog and fall in love with the frog and then the frog turned into a, a prince and they have a happily life. So I'm inspired by Black Lives Matter, which is a matter of discrimination against people who have a different appearance, just like the first just like the first book. So the message that I want to tell to you guys is we cannot discriminate each other. And don't be insecure about our, our appearance because we all perfect just like we are. Let's move to the last book. Again, this is a very simple book. So this is about seven smart animal. Yeah, I took some. Just like this, a very simple book. So I just want to tell to the children that we wrote children book that not only human but animal are also a smart creature. Okay, that's all I can tell to you guys about my book. All right. Thank you to all our speakers. Well, thank you once again for sharing your masterpieces. You know what? Those books that you created. They are so captivating. You include great messages for your readers. And I'm sure little, kid, little kids will enjoy reading your books. You're expanding your skills through creating books. Anyhow, movies, books, or even sports, all of these activities make use of English language as their primary language. So you are actually taking the first step to create something from the language that you learned. And that is what we call the language chef. So you are so passionate for learning English. Now, I'm, I'm curious, since you've started writing these books, to whom will you share these books? Do you think they will appreciate your masterpieces? Would you please share? Okay. Will you share your books to others? Yeah. By the way, I have a lot of friends, and some of them are little children. Here at Unai, I have two little children named Ailey and Marvella. They are lecturer's children. Usually at the noon, they call me, Kamarisa, Kamarisa, let's play together, they said. 
And then uh, I go down and meet them. After that, uh, they will talk to me about everything. They love to talk. And after we meet and tell stories to each other, I realized that their English is still not good, but that is okay because this is my chance to teach them English simply through the books that I have written. So I will show my books and it will be a fun activity to spend time together. Of course, they will appreciate my masterpieces because I wrote this book based on my childhood experience. So it's supposed to be related to their life right now. I think they will be happy with the book because besides the good story, there are a lot of interesting illustrations too. And I'm very confident with it because this masterpiece is my hard work. I think I will share my storybook with my family, friends, or publish it to the public. And maybe I will share this book with people around me who I know and will be distributed to orphanage children who like to read. Um, yeah, they feel definitely appreciated because the book is my own handiwork. Surely, they will understand and think it's, it is the result of their hard work while making the ebook. Of course, they will appreciate it, the author of the book. And for me, honestly, I have five siblings, three boys and two girls, but I will focus on my old little brother uh, or six years old. I will share my book with him because he likes to read book with picture. And why not? Uh, I write the book because I write the book make a picture and also like and else I'm sorry and also looks simple to read. So I think they will appreciate a, for my book. I think. I will share my book with my little brother and my cousin. And I think I will give it to my mother because my mother is kindergarten teacher. But actually, I still not confident with my book. But I hope the purpose of this book can share with who reads this book. But I hope if this book is shared, there will be a children who says, your book is good and funny because you know, children will tell truthfully and sincerely. Okay, I will share this books with my friend's little brother. He's just eight years old. He likes to read, I cannot that from him. Every day he reads Bible story and watching super book on YouTube that tells about Bible. He even talks and retells the story he had read before to, to me excitedly. The way he talks is just like a matured man. Those hobbies of him surely makes him store a bunch of Indonesian vocabulary. And I know if I share these books to him, he can start to learn English like he learns Indonesian from simple grammar, vocabulary, and a simple story. I wish he likes it. And will they appreciate my masterpiece? Mm, I think so, because me myself love my masterpiece. I have put my effort on this project and I quite satisfied with my own work. So I hope he will like it too. The illustration of the and the image that I have put inside of my stories is interesting and colorful enough for children. The language is not that hard either. He also loves cats, by the way. So I have sort of confidence, but whether he likes it or not, that's okay. I'm proud of myself because this is my first time writing books. Maybe this book is not good as others works, but I'm proud of my first masterpiece. Okay, so I have a niece, first grade elementary school, and she loves to read short story. So I think I will share it with her. And she also likes to read 
short story to help her cousin sleep. And I know this will help her to improve her skill. And then if the question is, do, do you think they will appreciate your masterpiece or my masterpiece? No, I don't know. Uh, it's maybe yes or no, because I can read mine, but whether they like or not, I think that is not a big problem as long as I enjoy creating it. And I also will respect their thought because people taste are very depending on the person. So maybe one like the book and maybe the other doesn't it. So like, yeah, like that. Okay, thank you. Well, you're not just creating something, but you're also carrying out the spirit of sharing. That's good. That's the, th the most important thing. Now, I would like to ask you further questions. Are you satisfied? Are you happy enough with the books that you have written? Okay. My experience in writing this book has been quite enjoyable because this activity helps me to recall my childhood memories it helps me to remember how cute and pure a child's thinking is and this makes me happy because i can remember fun little things again so that i can be grateful for the fun childhood that i have writing is not easy but this way i can develop my skills and my creativity in speaking english also in writing in english such a cool project Yeah, of course, it's really fun. You know why? Because I got a lot of knowledge to make this ebook. And also, I'm excited to work on this ebook, even though I'm, I'm very lazy to do it. But I want this ebook to be ready to be published or shared. Actually, I didn't know how to make this ebook. When it was said we were going to make three ebooks for children's stories. I was immediately confused and shocked where I would work on it. And Mam Deborah class gave us how to make a book, namely from the web, we just type creatorbook.com. So it's really easy to make this ebook and you can try it. For me, at the first, um, I was confused about how to write a storybook for children, but I tried to write it and for three books that I have written for children. I'm very happy because I can fin finally finish all my books, even though the results for me are not very satisfying. The results for me are not satisfied. Yes. But but next, next, next time, when I write a knowledge storybook, I will make a more interesting book for children. Good. Awesome. Okay. Will you keep writing more children's book? Will you keep writing? When I think about it, making children uh, stories or book is not easy as I imagine, but it's very fun because making children book makes me flashback to those days and how happy and simple a child was. That also one of the things that made me heal for some time. And yeah, it's really fun. And I think I still want to keep making a children's book. Um, if I have more idea to pour on the paper, I would be glad to, but unfortunately, I'm not that creative. To make just these three stories have taken a long time. Well, it's hard for me. I have ever made a draft story before with a science fiction genre, which talks about futuristic technology in the future and the conflict with the main character, which turned herself to a robot that has a superpower and is so overpowered. One thing that makes the main character is overpowered is a stone of energy that has made the human gun wild lately just to get that stone. They chase the main character everywhere she goes and she never lives in peace. 
I had make about seven parts, but unfortunately I got writer block. So I can't proceed the book. Well, that's why I don't continue writing story anymore, but I will try to learn more and I, and I will make another story next time. So I think I will write new children book because write the write book is also a fun activity, although sometimes it can be stressful when thinking about the storyline. But yes, I will write a new book, but with a different genre. Because I really want to write a different genre, even though this is a book with a very heavy genre, but I think it will be a certain challenge for me. And I want to share my experience for my new book because I think my life is quite interesting. All right, thank you. So Rivka, you mentioned about writing, writing blog. I think we have to have that discussion for our next series. Thank you for giving that idea. Okay, this is such a great talk. I really enjoy having a discussion with you. So my dear young people here, Keep up the good work, and I hope that you can polish your books. And someday, we never know that you can publish your your books. All right, I think this we've reached the end of our show. I think you have you're very busy. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to have your final exam next week. You have so many projects to do, and I I don't want to I I don't want to take all your time. So let's just end the show. So please give your encouraging messages or uplifting messages to your viewers. Okay, so for me, this project at first looked very difficult, but after doing it, I was able to do it. And with my creativity, I was able to create some masterpiece like this, three books that I have written. Uh, so if you are given an opportunity that has never been done before, Take it, just take it, because it can make us grow. Ah, oh, yeah, by the way, don't forget if you want to read my book and my friend's book, you can open the bookcreator.com and search for the title of my book or my friend's title books. Thank you. Mm, my message to you, sorry, my message to you, I want you to learn English. Although it seems difficult to learn it, if we are determined to learn more about English, surely you can. English is used to enter the world of business, of the world of work. So remember the words I say. To achieve something, we will definitely feel pain. And after we will go through that time of distress or pain, we will definitely get more of ourselves. As I created this ebook, it took me a long time to create this ebook and finally this ebook has been finished and i'm very happy to have an ebook that i created wow i can believe this time is up thank you for the taking the time to watch our show see you in our next project i hope yours don't get bored with us and next time we will be better this better than this and um, thank you thank you very much i want to thank to everyone who has watched our program we have we hope that uh, the viewers can also be inspired and can dare to share your ideas and experience to writing thank you well, I think this is the end of our program. Hope this motivate you guys who are want to learn English more. Remember, English is important. You will feel the benefit of knowing English soon after you learn it. Like me, because English, I can make English children books. And I don't even need subtitle when I listen to foreigner one day talks. You can go around the world and no need to worry if you should communicate with other with people out there. It is worth it, I tell you. So let's start to learn from now. So I want to say that my education is very helpful in learning English and it also helps us to improve our skill. 
And then I want to convey that we, as human beings who have mind, must be aware that we should not discriminate between people according to something just like just because they are different from us. And then the last I am I am very grateful to the viewers who watch our stream today. I hope you enjoy our stream and hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you once again to all our panelists here. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, your experiences about how you struggle in learning English. I really appreciate your time and efforts. And to all our viewers, I want to make an announcement. We are going to air part two, third series on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Please view the channel, watch the show, and I would like you to drop your comments on our chat box. Please tell us, give us positive comments about the show. I hope you enjoy watching our show. See you again on Sunday. Bye, stay healthy, and stay thoughtful. Thank you.